All right, uh, we are getting some breaking news. Jailed AIDM ke leader VK Shashikala has Shashikala Natarajan has moved to Supreme Court seeking re-examination of its verdict holding her guilty and sentencing her to four year imprisonment in the disproportionate assets case. The review petition has been filed by Jalalita's uh, foster son VN Sudhakaran and uh, Shashikala's kin Ila Varsi. So that is the latest information that we are getting from Chennai where Shashikala Natarajan has uh, filed a review petition in the Supreme Court against her conviction in the disproportionate assets case. For more of this, I'm joined by India Today correspondent uh, Pramod uh, Madhav. Pramod, uh, please give us more details about this review petition. Certainly, as, now, as you might remember, the earlier on uh, February 14th, Supreme Court upheld the trial court order, which was from Karnataka and based on which Sashikala, her nephew, B. N. Sudhakaran and Ilavarasi were sentenced for four years and were supposed to pay a fine of 10 crores. And uh, against this appeal, Jalita also as she was abated in on the uh, because she passed away on December 5. Now, Sashikala's uh, lawyers have decided to file this uh, review petition that they say in a case such as this one, this proportionate asset case, where the uh, convict A1, the accused A1, if she passes away, that case does not stand for A2, A3, and A4. Based on this, they wanted to file, they have filed the review petition. This is coming to a court. Uh, and probably the court might function for only another one week because they're going on summer or summer vacation as well. So we are expecting the if any development is there, it is supposed to uh, happen within the next week. And this is a bit of a shocker for Tamil Nadu as well because EPS and OPS factions are currently uh, really like a log head and they're like trying to get the control in their hand. And they thought like the Shikala's family is out of the game. But right now, as you could see, she has stepped back once again into the politics of Tamil Nadu. That's enough. All right, uh, thank you so much, Pramod, for that update. Interesting developments taking place in Tamil Nadu.